Now, this is the other question for me also. Why do we need automation? And this is not a question for me, it's a question for you. So I need some answers now, no? We can get a little bit more. What are the drivers? What are the objectives of automation for, for, for us? Do you think human error? Okay, so errors, yes, right? Time. 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 Okay. Quality. Quality, yes. Saving labor. Labor, saving labor, and let's put oh. it in bracket. We, we'll see. But he's right, totally. This is really what you're, but all, all are true. Okay? <coughs> and there are other reasons, okay? But the idea is, you think about everything, about sometimes his problems, okay? So when somebody says, for example, time, maybe on um, his background is, I have a problem with my finger on the hand. So let's see if I can fix it with the automation, okay? The, uh, labor, maybe it's not labor as such, maybe it's something as well that causes the complication of the labor that's uh, triggering this, okay? Mm -hmm. Quality errors are basically, again, less, uh, more automation means I can get more, let's say, uh, pro uh, problem free uh, solution, okay? Now, let's look really what are the things, and these are really <laughs> in general. Not everything is applied to everything, yeah? Now, as we said, labor reduction is Definitely one of the things that you, you read about, okay, that we have to think about again. Quality, as you said exactly, reduce the errors. Decrease turn down time. But sometimes more importantly, and again you have to remember this, is consistent turn down time. Mm. Okay? This is another thing that some people don't really, you know, uh, think about, okay? Okay. And increase safety, we look at this. It is a strength of marketing advantage for some people. I have a mention. I'm better than others, okay? Uh, nobody talked about this cost. You know why nobody talked about cost? Because most of the people think that automation will increase the cost. Mm. It is. I think. <laughs> okay. Now, talk about labor now, okay? What's the problem here? Turn over of people's stuff. I don't know about you, but I know one thing. In a lot of places, you have people moving out or moving around. That's and fine. then, this means you are losing experienced people, mm. you are losing good people, okay? And sometimes you have already invested whatever it is, and then they are going out. So, this is a problem. So, we have a problem with the labor. In our area here, maybe it's not that much as in the U.S. Because I removed one of the comments towards aging staff. Uh -huh. mm. They have a big problem in the U.S. about aging staff. They have a lot of staff who are too old now in the, in the, in the, in the, in the and the laboratory, and the problem is because of the salary scale, there is no more motivation for people to work in the lab. This is the biggest problem, okay? I mean, okay, I'll, I'll work uh, for four years or something in the school, and then I graduate to be an MT, and then what? What is the scale? And again, this is depending on the country, whatever. But I'm saying in general, if you think about it, it does make some people to go away from the laboratory, maybe I'm not. I used to work in the lab, mm. but I had the lab because I didn't see where it's going exactly, you know. So think about it. But this is applicable only for the range of the medical technology stream stuff, you know, that you maybe for doctors and some yeah, other. Yeah, it's different. Because this is another challenge. We do see it on the laboratories that, you know, the medical technologists among, you know, the clinical or the, the, the consultants. Am I right, Dr. Sutherland? But they are the majority. Yeah. 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 And they are fit by 800 or 100. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so that is one of the population. Now, again, talk about people living with but what about the qualification? What about the school? And again, we have a problem here, okay? You have the uh, university grants, okay? Which are really okay, fine. I mean, we spend the goodwill. But the problem is, in some institutions, you are forced to put people think they're coming with diplomas, okay? Like in the ministry, for example, okay? Ma'ad al-Sahir. Ma'ad al-Sahir. They are not that, you know, uh, let's say qualified people, okay? And the other problem we have is the College of Science. You know, I remember one discussion, we were talking about this, they, this College of Science should be closed, you know? Why the why discussion was? Because if you think about where these people will go to work, because we don't have that many factories, because usually science uh, guys should work in factories and this type of organizations, or uh, whatever, you know, uh, okay? But we don't have. So what is the problem? I graduate from science with in microbiology, let's say, or in uh, chemistry, not in medical microbiology, not in medical chemistry, in chemistry and organic chemistry, whatever. And now I want to work in the lab. 
to that problem. Okay? The other thing we're facing now, there are lots of discussions, the ma'ahid al-sahiyya hadi, everywhere, and they are also graduating some students that should find some work. So all this is, is the problem with, with the labor. New departments, even in a good lab, we have good text, there is always an introduction to new departments. Molecular, like for example, HLA, whatever, you know, this fancy stuff, uh, nanotechnology now, for example. So people who are good are moving to these departments. You know, I've spent all these years in, in chemistry or in microbiology now, let me do something new now. Okay? So they move from that. So really, labor is one of the things that we have to think about. Okay. What's the effect on the combination? Is it this? Yes. Yeah. I think it's just a combination between the labor and the... You are losing people. Yeah, and, and good people. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Yeah, and we, we see there a lot of lab, you know, but what's going on is that uh, I'm working, for example, in uh, uh, microbiology, okay? And there's a new section offering molecular. I'll just put the molecular, okay? Because, uh, and then who's that? I see this a lot. Of yeah. you, you go to different places, you see you are depending, depending unfortunately, for a certain, certain people, you know, in the lab, because they are good. They leave, and you see how, how it falls. It falls very bad, okay? A quality, definitely, as you guys said. Liable for errors. Okay. People, sorry. Uh, people think, for example, less steps, less errors. And this is true. This is big. Yeah, if I do 10 steps and I change it to 3 steps, it can be good. Decrease the error because with 10 tests I have 10 possibilities of errors. With 3 I have 3, so I have decreased of my, okay? Or, you know, I remember one, one of the discussions were, let the LSM do everything, you know? I have a staff, I'm sorry, you know, they are not the perfect staff. I want something that does it, you know? <laughs> Just put the two and to do everything. So this is another type of uh, discussion sometimes. Let the LSM do everything for me. That's it, end of story. Okay, tap. Then our time. Okay. <coughs> the demand is always increasing. Okay, and every time you go to any lab, especially if it's uh, that they say uh, the teratam should be from ordering up to the patient getting the management, the treatment, whatever. This is for him what they call the therapeutic general time. Okay, so it depends really how how you calculate this. In the lab, usually it's from received to result. Okay. This is another topic, it's consolidation of ER lab. You know, the thing is, uh, we will see also about the squeezing the budget for the lab, whatever, you know. People sometimes are going the other way. Usually it was, let's make a staff lab. People don't know, why don't we have a good automation in the lab that's going to save the time and improve the time time, so I will remove actually the staff lab. So then, again, I should get the right kind of time, otherwise it will be over. Okay? Uh, most of the point of care testing, uh, if you notice also uh, that